Hi, this is Greg Bridges with Trading the Pip. So today we're going to go back over to NZD USD and we're going to show you where we stood last time when we talked about the trade actually going up to the first resistance line and actually coming back down. So as you can tell, we have two candlesticks. We have a red candlestick right here and another red candlestick. So two red candlesticks. The market is actually retracing itself and going backwards on itself. Right now we're positive $10.32. We have a stop loss in place of, if we click right there, it was stop loss in place of eight dollars and four cents. So what does that mean for us? That means that if the market does reverse and starts going back upward, that it'll take us out with an eight dollar and four cent profit. So right now, overall, we're, we have our take profit all the way down here. So is this reasonable in terms of our daily chart and where our support and resistance lines are right now? The answer is no, but it is. Um, it does coincide with if we were looking at a weekly chart. So if we click right here and go to our weekly chart and look at our support and resistance lines and just wait for the load and we already have our support and resistance lines in place, we see that our take profit is right here under our, our first weekly support. So what are we saying? We're saying this thing could possibly come down, boom, and hit our first weekly support. Now, by looking at this whole thing, we see that we have a still have a green candle in this month. So this thing is actually way up. So it's a possibility that it's not going to call it, come all the way down here. That's fine. That's fine with us. Um, but it's a possibility that we may see some type of retracement down here, down here. And so we want to lock in as many profits as we can at this point, right? So what I really want to talk about is your swap fees or your financing fees. These swap fees or financing fees come into place when you hold your trades overnight. So do you always get hit with fees? No, the answer is no. You don't always get hit with fees. Sometimes they'll pay you by interest. Um, in this case, we had trades for Euro USD. We had trades for NZD USD, and we actually were getting charged thirty cents total for Euro USD, and we got charged seventy cents for our two tr our two trades positions in um, in NZD USD. So looking up here, you see that I had a position of three, negative 3,000 lots and a position of negative 6,000 lots that put us at 9,000 lots, right? And then we had another position of two, 3,000 um, um, lots or 6,000 lots and we were negative $38.76 and we're negative $7.38 yesterday. So our Euro USD trade actually closed out today. Um, we put a stop in place once we became profitable and we actually were able to get out this trade with $10 positive, you know. So, and in terms of swap fees, I think we got hit with maybe 20 cents a swap fee. So maybe roughly, um, you know, uh, less than 2%, right? So we're looking at where we at in NZD, USD swap trades. That's 70 cent right there from yesterday. And then as we go back in time and we looked at our our, our um, statements, we saw that we, we racked up about $2 worth of, uh, of swap fees. You know, the swap fees or financing fees are going to be different every day. Sometimes it's going to be 35 cents. Other days it may be 7 cents. Other days it may be none. So in this particular case, we're about negative $2 in swap fees. If we go back to our trade right here we see that it's, it's jumping around with $9, 40 some cent, $10 is jumping all over the place, right? So we're just going to go back to the daily chart because that's the weekly chart. And we can open it up a little bit more. We can move it around and we can say, hey, right now we're at that support. Um, we're at support too. So we're seeing some fluctuations right now with the market. It's a possibility that it could go up and hit our stops. It's a possibility that we have enough leeway for it to possibly break through and uh, and continue pushing forward. If that's the case, we'll come out today with about $18 in profit, um, which is close enough to my $20 a day target when it comes to Forex, especially when we're dealing with smaller um, lot sizes. 3,000, 6,000, so on and so forth. In this case, we're dealing with a 6,000 lot size, so we're hoping to still come out with um, with that that $20 um, a day with doing two trades, right? Um, so if we actually happen to continue to go down and we come out with 80 some dollars in profit, that's fine. But overall, what I really wanted to talk about was those swap fees, finance charges, and stuff like that you guys really need to pay attention to um, because all of that, is uh it, it adds into um your overall profits 
or what you're going to have taken out of your profits. So even when we go further up in my statement, you'll see it shows you my net equity, 1,028. That was yesterday. If I continue to go up, it shows you my cash balance, unrealized profit and loss. It shows you that was negative 46.14 yesterday. Um, and overall, it was 1,074. Net equity was 1028, which matches right there to 2868. And these are open positions. So I had all these positions that were open, which are four positions. And you see that we have no trades that were closed. So yesterday, as of yesterday, there were no trades closed. But when my statement comes out today, you're going to notice, actually, if I show it, it's going to, you're going to notice that I have one trade that was closed or two trades that were closed, which is this Euro USD. And you're going to see that I was profitable. So instead of being negative $38.76, you're going to see what I'm going to be positive $10 and, and wherever, you know, so I still was able to take something that went negative and turn it into a positive or it went positive and got out with some profits. So that is my goal when I'm dealing with Forex. If it does turn against me um, or it does go my direction, lock in those profits. And then um, if it doesn't turn against me and continues going my way, as it continues going down and continue to go up, I continue to lock in those profits until we see it turn against us uh, or we see that it hit our take profit and takes us out of the trade. So that's my goal when I'm doing my Forex trades. So anyway, um, we're going to move back. And as you can tell, we've been taken out of the trade. Sell 3,000, sell 3,000, buy 6,000, buy 6,000. So what, did I, what do I know that just happened? Basically, it hit our sell stop and we got out with $8.04 of profit. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end the video because that pretty much ended our trade, right? So you can continue to follow NZD USD on yourself um, on your own charts to see whether or not it's going to continue going downward. Um, now, it, you possibly at this point could say, all right, this thing may go up and retrace itself, hit around somewhere around the, the somewhere around the support one area, and then it may continue going downward. Um, I believe it will. But as of now, I'm out of this trade. I made uh, my bare minimum and that's it. So this is Greg Bridges. Hopefully you guys learned something trading the pips. Talk to you guys later. Bye.